everyone it's for Cynthia with cacti on white and welcome to my channel this is my first video of 2023 and I thought I'd bring you guys along so guys I am at Rubio's plants of Texas in Dallas off of Lemon Avenue. So before I jump in, I hope you guys are having a great 2023. They're calling these the Mexican ponytail palm. I saw that on one of the labels, let me show you. And I'm, it's kind of noisy where I am at this location. It is close to an airport. I've filmed here many times before. So if you've watched any of my videos at this particular Rubio's of Texas, I always make an apology for the airport noise. So yeah, again, this is my first video of the year. I took somewhat of a hiatus, had a lot going on toward the end of 2022, uh, which is the busiest part of the year, uh, the end of the year going into a new year for my work. Um, also, to be really brutally honest, I just really needed a break from YouTube. Um, thanks for all those folks that have reached out to check in. I appreciate you, means a lot. Um, I'll probably make another video here in the next couple of days about some of my thoughts about the channel, uh, how the channel's performed actually over the last couple of years um, and where I see the channel going. And to be honest, maybe not going. Um, you know, during my hiatus, I really gave a lot of thought to this YouTube channel. If you've ever made a video before or if you've had a channel you know what I'm talking about. Making videos is really, really a lot of work. Um, I started this channel. This is a philodendron narrowscape for $35.99. So this channel started, I created the channel in 2018, but I wasn't really active with the channel until 2020, really with the pandemic. So I started really making uh, consistent content and things like that uh, in 2020. Um, but the channel has really, you know, grown organically. I'm very proud of that. I'm also very, very happy about the community and all of you that watch and subscribe and consistently comment and things like that. I really appreciate you all. But making videos is really a lot of work. This is gorgeous. Um, and I do, I do have a full-time job, um, but doing videos, being consistent with making videos is like, can be a full-time job, if not a really, really busy part-time job. Um, and I just don't know, you know, I'm going to be honest, if it's been worth it, the return. And what I wanted to say, which probably all over the place. Yeah, what I wanted to say is I created the channel for community to share with like-minded folks that enjoy cacti and succulents and houseplants and all the things, right? So that was the reason why I created the channel, not for revenue. Again, I have a full-time job, so it wasn't for, you know, revenue, money or anything like that. Um, and I have grown the community, uh, not at the rate that I, you know, had hoped, um, to be honest, um, you know, I know, I know I'm not for everyone. It's a certain, you know, these channels have certain demographics that they attract. Uh, and I'm a woman of a certain age, woman of color, not that that matters, just laying the facts out there. So, yeah, I won't be for everyone. I understand that. But I would have liked to have seen much larger growth with the channel. 
um, than I've seen. You know, I'm, I am, although, very thankful for the community that I have. So, yeah, more to come on that. Uh, I'll probably do a separate video talking about the channel and, again, the future of the channel. So, less about me and more about these plants. Guys, isn't this Japanese or these Japanese Aurelias just gorgeous? They're $40, and I think that's worth it. Look at the leaf on this one. This is huge. Look at my hand. Just huge. I can't keep these alive. So I won't be purchasing that even though I love it. But I have to say, if you're in Dallas and you love Japanese Aurelias, uh, I would suggest you swing on by Rubio's of Texas on Lemon Avenue. I'm gonna look around, I'll show you guys prices and such, and then I'm gonna keep it moving to some other stops. All right, guys, let's check out Callaway's Nursery. Still on Lemon Avenue, so you will still hear airport noises because I'm actually closer to the runway. Uh, this store is right in front of the runway, so. Let's see what they have. It's pretty stem, it's pink. That's gorgeous. Yeah, I haven't really been shopping for plants. Really, honestly haven't been in the mood to acquire any new plants. Uh, I plan in 2023 to be more intentional with my purchases. You know, not just buying plants to be buying plants. Uh, really want to be more intentional as I add new plants to my collection. Uh, I've been focused on the plants that I do have and kind of weeding out the ones that I don't really care for, that don't really give me joy, if you will. Sorry, there's a heater on in here. Look at this, guys. This rabbit foot fern is so cute. I, I don't do ferns, but this is cute. Look at that. $17. They have a small cactus section here, or used to, so let's see if we can find that. Blue and white, blue and white, my favorite. Blue and white. Really cute little planters here. They're a bit pricey, but unique, so. Maybe that makes it worth it, I don't know. So, let's take a look in the back here. I think they moved the cactus and succulents to back here. Yeah, I see them. So, let's look around. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm being more intentional this year with my purchases because I have such a large collection of plants. Um, and I need to really only add plants that I really want uh, and keep only those that bring me joy. If they're not, then rehome them. Um, and I'm also considering moving, selling my home so I need to downsize my collection a bit anyway because <laughs> I don't want to have to move a lot of plants. This is interesting. $20. Looks a little scaly though. Just a little bit. See it? So I mean, see that? Focus. So yeah. I've done a lot of, uh, let me zoom back out for you guys. I've done a lot of purging of clothes and, you know, thinning out things. So if I do decide to put my house on the market, I will have less to, I won't have to do that process. I'll just be packing. So not 100% sure yet. $6.99 for that, that's gorgeous. Uh, not 100% sure just yet but highly considering selling and, you know, staying within the Dallas-Fort Worth area, uh, but uh, moving. I've been in my house for 13 years in March, 
and that's the longest I've lived anywhere. <laughs> so I um, love the house, but ready for a change. This guy looks a little brown, but cute. Has no spines, which is interesting. This little astrophyto. I like it though. But yeah, I see some over there with spines, Capricorn probably. They have some cute little ones. I don't need a lot of little plants. Uh, this guy here is $269.99. That. So yeah. I haven't decided what my plant goals are though for like new acquisitions. I mean, I just talked about downsizing, right? But I will probably do a video, perhaps, I don't know, on, you know, my wish list if I have one for 2023. $50 for this beautiful hybrid aloe, gasteria aloe hybrid, I think. I could be wrong. string of pearls I mean uh, not string of pearls you know what this is string of hearts variegated I can't keep this alive either little baby ponytail palms which I've bought before they do grow trust me slowly but surely oh this is cute I have one of these this little Haworthia it's doing well it's in a windowsill that's cute I love the little texture of this. This is $6.99, which isn't too bad. I don't have any of these in my collection right now, but they're tried and true. Oh, there's some big ones under here. So yeah, not a lot here today, guys. So I may do a couple of more stops. And if I do, I will pick you guys back up. Drop a comment down below and let me know how plants are looking in your area. What's it like? Oh, that's cute right there. It is $16.99. Comes a plane. $16.99. Isn't that gorgeous? I have one of those. I'm sure that one's a fortune here. String of something. It's pretty. I don't do strings either. String of tears. That's a new one for me. It's $10, String of Tears. Some of them are pretty big, though. Look. Look at that. String of Tears. All right, guys. I think I'm going to head out of here. And again, I will pick you guys up if anything exciting pops up. All right? All right. Let's see what's at Home Depot. I'm not enthusiastic to be honest but you never know pretty slim have some large these are like euphorbia obesa hybrids and they are $6.98 got a couple of those I have some large ones there's some back there big one then the other side is larger there's some small cacti right here but just small succulents so let's look inside to see if there's any exciting plants in there, which I highly doubt, but we'll see. Now, it does seem to be fully stocked in here, guys, but we'll see what they have. 
see a bunch of rubber plants here. for that. Elephant ears, large ponytail palms, sands of areas. These are $24.98. Sorry for the sun. Fiddles. Normal stock. Uh, looks to be normal stock. But, uh, uh, you know, fully stocked. But nothing you know, it's the tried and true plants. So nothing wrong with that, right? Uh, let's keep looking. We might come across something though. Smaller ponytail pumps for $15. Sorry about the backlighting. Got the large elephant ear bulbs. Look at those guys for $15. Look like mm, a couple of different things. Uh, there's some smaller ones for get a bag of four per, per bag elephant ear bulbs. That's cool. Never grown elephant ears from a bulb. white pot though. That's cute. Look at that. For $9.98. That's not too bad. I like that. Alright. Money plant. What's this? Global green? Not the global. I don't know. Alright. Look in here. Some um, Hoyas here. Fifteen dollars. So wide leaf uh, Santa. Ooh, whoa! All right, guys. Nothing is grabbing me. So I'm going to go ahead and close the video out. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload new videos. I hope you guys are having a great day and so far a great year. I will see you in the next video.